Today's video is brought to you by Surfshark. More on them in a bit. Minas Tirith is under siege. The Dark Lord Sauron has unleashed his full might on the ravaged Kingdom of Gondor, and it is here at the White City where the Hammerstroke will fall hardest. Under the leadership of the mighty wizard Gandalf, the warriors of Gondor held firm against the initial assault with three victories for the forces of good in our first three episodes of the Minas Tirith campaign, but the tide has turned, and the host of Mordor is now swarming through the city streets. But just as hope seems lost, the horns of the Riddermark drift across the Pelennor. The Horse Lords of Rohan have come. Today's battle report takes place on a smaller version of our massive Siege of Gondor mega board, pairing the central 4x4 section of the Pelennor with the Tubertown build, the first fully complete city block of our massive true scale Minas Tirith build from the incredible Fellowship of the Zorb collaboration. Today, Loki is jumping ship, or should I say horse, to his beloved Rohan, fielding a massive Rohirrim force led by Aema Elfhelm and the King of the Mark, Theoden, son of Thangle. Fan favourite Mark returns today to command his beloved Mordor with Gothmog, Guritz and Goroth all ready to die for the Dark Lord with over 50 horses, 8 trolls, 4 moving siege towers and more orcs than I can count. The board is well and truly set. Boy oh boy are the pieces moving. The great battle of our time is about to begin. The great battle. So good starts with priority as Rohan make their massive charge. So Theoden's gonna lead the boys in, make a huge slice, and in go the Rohan. The Rohan charge is easily my favourite moment in the history of cinema. I've literally seen it thousands of times and it always gives me chills. Editing these battle reports is actually a huge time sink because each time I cut the epic footage, I end up watching the whole battle by accident. To truly capture the incredible momentum of this movie moment, the forces of Rohan gain plus one strength on the charge and every single model, both warrior and hero alike, may call heroic combats for free in any turn in which they have charged. Charged. Prepare to see orcs dying by the droves. Big charge means big throwing spears. We're going to kick it off with Elf Helm, the throwing spear king. He hits on threes and oh, he absolutely blitzes an orc. So he's in and he's going to ride around. Onto this flank over here, we've got a royal guard. Uh, he's just got a normal throwing spear hitting on fours on the charge. No luck there. Two more spears over here. Hitting fours, and a big six through that Moranan armor, no wounds there. Another spear for Aemar, he's hitting on fours on the charge. Oh, it's a big miss for him, and then just a single royal guard next to him. And he misses as well. Time for the orcs to counter charge. The forces of Mordor try to set up some counter charges, but with much of the front lines in combat, there is little they can do but jostle their spear supports to get as many strikes as possible. On the eastern and northern flanks, supporting units surge forwards to establish a secondary shield wall to help protect the two northernmost siege towers and prevent any Rohan spear tip piercing the line. So all the orcs have piled in, but there's a couple of big things left to move, Mark. What's on the menu? Uh, we're going to be putting in the towers. We're going to get them as close to the wall as possible uh, to get all the orcs over the wall. So they move six. While they have two trolls. While they have two trolls. <laughs> Hopefully, over on this flank, they might not have two trolls for long. You've still got one up the back who is well safe, though. So while moving the towers, they have impact hits because obviously they're going to be pushing them forward no matter what. So we've got a couple of guys in the road here. Yeah, I've thrown in some Rohan to try and hold up the tower, but hopefully they don't get smushed. So a strength nine impact hit. The first one in front straight away. Threes to kill. Oh, one down. He'll take, he'll be gone. Into the next Royal Guard. We're using all the Royal Guard here. Oh, another one goes down! He gets knocked down. <laughs> I'm actually only two Royal Guard here away from Thade, and I am in a bit of a risky situation. Into the next Royal Guard. Come on, show me a two. Yes, yes, and good work. There it stops. All right, that is the finished position of that tower. Nice and safe, out of the way. And I don't lose my Royal Guard fighting Goroth as well. But we have one very special tower left to go, Mark, and I think he is about to make it home. <laughs> Yeah. 
So one tower has successfully landed on the walls and now I've got two trolls that are going to be a nuisance in play. So Gondor shooting, I've got a bunch of bowmen here on the walls. There's essentially ten to the left of this parapet and ten the other way. Only half can see this guy here. We need big fours to hit. Big in the way of five plus to get past the tower. Oh, wow. Five racing through and then strength two on D7 is sixes by fours. No wounds. The orc trackers on the hill have a big shot at the the ranks in behind. So we've got 12 shots, hitting on fours. Six hits. Perfectly uneven. Uh, they'll need to do horse and rider to see if it hits the rider or go. the mount. So One down on the horse. Let's do our horses let's first. Let's do the horse first. Nothing there. We need big sixes to take down some riders. One. The combat of the first turn and it is going to be mental because every single Rohan model is calling a heroic combat with their insane Rohan charge special rule. So we're going to start over here on Aima's flank and we're just going to work our way around until we get to the big guy and see if we can set up a troll kill. I've got two attacks with this Rohan outrider. He's on fours. Oh, he gets buffed back off a big five. And we'll move into the next royal guard. I've got the high fight value here as well, which is going to help me out. I'm on sixes. I just took the orc dice. Oh, it goes to me on five value. And I knock you down for four strikes. And, oh, come on, Rohan! No, this isn't what we want! The next Rohan rider along, he's got two on the charge as well. Big sixes, uh, the orc can't beat it. Even though he got the spear support, I'm on fives, which is two big wounds. <laughs> now, moving into the big guns, big AMR, four attacks on the charge, massive five value, big Rohan sixes, look at that. And he'll be knocking down double. And wow, wow, we need to bring the Rohan dice out. He eviscerates his orc. And of course, all of these guys who are successful get to make secondary charges. So Aim is gonna push through the line and make another two, but we'll do the normal charges first. Two more warriors of Rohan on this flank, riding into battle. Big six, one outside the box, but six <laughs> is good enough. Show me the money, Mark. Goes to Rohan. Plus one strength on the charge, only needing fives against the heavy armor, gets a big six. After that guy's heroic combat there, this final one is just finding two because all the spear supports have been pulled away. And big sixes, it's a tired fight. You want to flip the dice on a four plus, it'll go to the forces of Rohan. And it does, we need four more dice. And we get the charge and plow into the spearmen. So while we're on this flank, we'll finish off these heroic combats. We've got three to follow on their secondary charges. We'll start with our little friend here again. He's got two attacks on the charge, finding one orc. Not strong. Oh. Four big dice. Gets the six on the final one. Rip him out of there. We're punching a big hole through this flank. We've got another rider and then Aima. This time I'm finding two. I've got the two attacks. Oh, nice mark, getting the big six. Uh, you're gonna strike on the horse or the rider? Always the rider, always yep. the rider. You're gonna kill him. So, big it. strength four and then hitting fives. It's a oh, sword six. The first Rohan casualty in combat. The Orcs are striking back here, but now it's onto the big man, Aima's second charge of the turn, and he is fighting two with a spear support. Four dice each on the charge. I haven't got the six! Oh! I, do I spend a point of might? I think I'm going to. Four attacks back on me. I don't want to lose my horse. So I'll spend a might to tie it, and then I'll put two strikes on the left one. He goes down. Two strikes on the right one, he goes down as well. So Aima has cut through, but it did cost me a my point. Sweeping over to the right flank now, and Elfhelm has made a big charge fighting three. We'll start off with his support cadre. So this little rider here fighting three with spears. Oh, big sixes for me. And I will put uh, a strike on the right. Uh, doesn't get him, and a strike on the left, needing those fives. Oh, ho, ho. there's the box cars, as Ryan would say. We've made the kill. How many have you got in the next one there, Mark? Uh, we've got two. Two. 
Another two attacks to me on the charge. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Striking at the horse or the rider. Hey, always a rider. Let's get him off the table. Oh, Ooh. so close. Not enough. This is a worrying fight for me. One of my objectives. He's gone in a little brave, I think. Let's get the Rohan dice. <laughs> uh, I think he needs them. This is Elfhelm fighting four. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bringing in the hot dice when they're needed. Yeah. Even the Zorba Zorb six, not enough. I've got strength four, so five on the charge. It's fives all round. Second set of strikes, one goes down, and third set of strikes. So just one orc. My heroic combat doesn't go off, but I am safe for now. And then final fight on this flank is the only successful heroic combat. Ooh! -hoo. Ooh. Yep, goes to Mordor. That's rough. Strike me up, Mark. Going for the rider, as always. Oh, and he's off the table! Another Rohan casualty, but Elfhelm's still in the fight. We've got one little fight in the center. Mark, I think you're gonna like this one. I like this one a lot. Yeah, this is good, this is good. Now, you have got uh, just a bunch of orcs in there. I do actually have the fight value with a royal guard on the charge. You do. So, let's see if I can pull a big six out of here. I've switched to the big dice. Oh! <laughs> Okay, they, these Rohan dice are ridiculous. I'll save my arm. <laughs> yeah, spreading the strikes, uh, no wounds, and no wounds. But he survives, and there's one big set of fights left. It is the center, the charging white stallion on green fields. We have Theoden and his royal guard. We're going to start with Theoden. Three attacks on the charge. Uh, oh my goodness! Oh, big sixes! The shielding does the work! And Theoden completely bounces off. That is going to help Goroth nicely. So our Orc can't strike because uh, he shielded, but Theoden is pushed back and just one final fight. It is Goroth versus a charging Royal Guard. Set the tone, Mark. You got two attacks. Two attacks. Here we go. Oh, big, big sixes. Now, I am a charging Royal Guard, so I can tie which I do not. So it goes to you. Uh, strength five and two-handing, you are going to need fours to wound with this beast. Here we go. Yeah, rinse him. Big handful of orcs dead on the first turn with this right flank over here collapsing and ready to break. Uh, but I did lose a few out of the saddle. How'd you feel about turn number one, Mark? Yeah, we did okay. That, like you said, that flank there got got minced up pretty good. But I'm happy with how we held up in the centre here because when I keep that in at bay, flanks are falling, but. The scent is good. The meat's good, so we're. We like we're meat. Happy. Org likes a bit of meat. Let's see what happens for turn number two. Ooh, Ooh, priority goes to evil. I have got might to burn with my free heroic combat so I can afford heroic moves. I will make a call with every single hero to make sure I've got some initiative somewhere. Do you want to counter call with anyone? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll counter call with... Uh, Goroth to start with, and we'll try and pin Thaden back. Oh uh, yeah, in front of the tower as the well. Tower. Yep, yep. And I think I'll need to call one with Guritz over here as well to try and... I need to negate your charge because the charge is where I'm going to lose the most. So Mars got priority, so let's see whose heroic move will go off first. Big one, two, three for the evils. There oh, it is. Oh, yes it is. Who you want to grab? You want to grab Guritz or Goroth? Uh, let's do Goroth first. Let's hold up Thaden. He is getting let's, let's pinned. Pin him down. Elfhelm time. Uh, we've had a fierce charge in the centre, but Elfhelm's going to try and reclaim this flank. He has to move first. He's going to skirt these control zones and get in safely here and kind of just spread this as much as possible just to try and tie up as many of these orcs as we can to stop those counter charges. With Elfhelm charging into the western flank, Guritz charged forth his line, seeking to cut a wedge through the Rohan charge and potentially encircle King Theoden. But seeing the King's banner in trouble in the center, Aemer's Ehred struck forth hard into the eastern flank, flying right into the trolls manning the siege tower, bearing down upon the King and stopping it from moving this turn.
Mark's reserve orc forces continue to move up to reinforce the front line. If Aemon doesn't make short work of his current foes, he could soon find himself overwhelmed. With one siege tower at the walls and one now pinned, the trolls laboured on at the remaining two towers to continue their slow march across the board. There are three major objectives for each force today. Each army must kill two of the enemy heroes, and Rohan must prevent three siege towers from reaching the walls of the White City. As Gandalf looked out across the battle from the walls, he wept, not just because of the blood of Rohan spilt upon the plain, but because all of this could have been avoided. If Denethor, the steward of Gondor, had used the Surfshark VPN while browsing online with his Palantir, his data would have been secure from the Dark Lord, with industry-leading measures using uncrackable encryption and the most secure VPN protocols. But instead of a safe browsing experience that doesn't log your data, when Denethor logged onto Rohan Singles Net, the Dark Lord Sauron instantly saw the Minas Tirith IP address in the Palantir and sent forth his legions. In all seriousness, Netflix Australia is constantly dropping Lord of the Rings on and off the catalogue, which is infuriating, so I basically have it on a loop here in my workshop while I'm building, but with the Surfshark VPN, I can access it anytime I want simply using another country's Netflix, and it selects the fastest server speed by default. So make sure you don't make Denethor's mistake and get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.deals forward slash Zorbazorb and use the promo code Zorbazorb. The link is down in the description and you'll sort yourself out with 83% off and three months extra for free. Remember guys, if you use my links and support the sponsors that support me, it really helps the channel. It means I can crank out even more content. Now, let's find out if Denethor's poor internet security choices will cost the Rohirrim their lives. The lines have met really severely now. There's a whole bunch of orc archers Firing in over the top to my last remaining riders. How many you got coming in? 12. 12! 12. 12 shots, here we go. Hitting on fours, those trackers. Seven hits this time. Horse and rider. Horse rolls first. So one oh, horse. Oh, one gets big horse. Dropped. And my lad is absolutely fine. He's we'll fine. pop a dismount in. But do the riders get pinned with arrows? Needing sixes. No dice. no dice. There are two trolls sprinting over to my cavalry line after depositing their siege tower, so I'm going to send 25 Gondorian arrows in their direction. Hey! Kill the trolls! Big sixes. Oh, three sixes! And needing fours to wound the troll. Oh, three fours! <laughs> That's three wounds! <laughs> Thunk! One troll is gone from the lines, but there's still one to go. We'll deal with him next turn. So the fighting phase is going to begin with a whole bunch of heroic combats and we're actually going to start with Aemma this time and try and set something up on the troll. I have got six dice because I've got a friend in there as well. Oh, big sixes, Mark. You ain't going to beat that. <laughs> uh, and I have knocked over just a single orc and uh, we shouldn't have any trouble taking him off the board. Rip him out of there, Marky. And then Aemma and the Son of Ale will both make a charge. And they have now pinned that troll. We killed one in the shooting phase, but we're hungry for more. Let's dive into the next fight. We've got a couple of guys picking off some one-on-ones, and then they'll be able to combat into this line here. Two versus one. Ooh, goes to Rohan. Needing fives with that strength bonus. No wounds. Oh, I've got a second strike. I've knocked him over. Still no wounds. Let's try the Son of Ale. Oh, big sixes for him. And he'll be... Absolutely struggling to wound. Oh, come on, Rohan. These orcs here are holding what's left of this flank. We'll move down the line. We've got a three on one and a two on one, and then another troll fight. Three riders, one orc. My roll wasn't great, but yours was worse, Mark. <laughs> and there we go. We finally kill someone. And all three of those guys will get to charge now. Moving on to the troll fights now, we'll start on the right one because it's actually still a heroic combat as that model is new to the fight. So I have four attacks on the charge from my riders and four from Aema. So I've got fight seven with the troll, so a big Zorpa Zorp six will get me the win for this one. Set the tone, set the tone. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. no, I think the Rohan have got oh, that one. No. Now he is pinned, he is uh, defense seven, I'm strength five with Aema and four with the Rider and five with the Sun. So that's a lot of fives needing to take him down. Sixes on the blues and fives everywhere else. That is a very dead troll. Mm -hmm. 
That's my dead troll uh, imitation there. And then this little rider here is gonna get to go in and make a charge, creating four on one for the final troll fight. Once again, chasing that six, Mark. Big Zorpa Zorp six, here we go. Oh, oh, oh come on, oh, trolls. Oh, You're not even putting up a fight. I mean, they're very busy. Oh, they're that, very that. busy, but they are they are not aware that the, the horsemen are trying to slice them apart here. Uh, that is one, two, three wounds. I don't even need the second roll. And that is one tower neutralized. So one point for Rohan, one point for Mordor, and they're about to bank a second. So I gotta try and slice apart this uh, tower over here. But that's not gonna be this turn. We're gonna dive into the final heroic combats on this right flank, and then we'll get back over into the center. Aemers Ahred continued their killing spree, losing a single rider in exchange for a whole handful of orcs, and most importantly, with the back half of their formation gaining some space to form up and support their spearhead as they break out into the open space behind the now disabled siege tower. Okay, with Gothmog in, in the middle of this um, area of combat here, I'm going to activate his special rule, the time of the orc has come. Everyone within 12 inches of Gothmog is going to get re-rolls to wounds, so, which is really, really important Oof. right now. Yeah, especially on a turn where I haven't got heaps of charges. This whole flank here, you've got the charge, yep. so you're going to be winning a lot more fights. This is definitely the turn to use this while you've got bodies, but there's still heroic combats to go off first, so let's dive in. I'm going to start with Elfhelm over here. He's only got three on the charge. Oh, the Gandalf dice have abandoned me. I'm shielding just to protect Gothmog. Nice work. So that bumps Elfhelm back and he doesn't break through to cut Gothmog's head off. It's moving down the line. I've got one rider solo. He's on fives. Big one. one. And he'll be doing four dice to dish the pain. And one more. Big yes. Gandalf six. Rip him out of there, Mark. And he will move in, and I'm gonna charge and pick off the spear support. We'll move into this heroic combat now, another one-on-one. -on -one. Two on the charge for me. I'm gonna shield to protect again. Oh, yep, shielding. Good move, but hasn't paid off yet. Four dice for me. And I've got the five, rip him out. That successful heroic combat means I can charge this model and help this guy out, who's now only fighting two instead of three. I've got two attacks on the charge, Oh. There we go, swung back to you. Uh, so striking on the rider as always, Always Mark. on the rider. Yeah, you got to get him off the table. Here Mark go. loves to kill him. Oh, no luck. My last heroic combat is just this one-on-one -on -one up the back. Uh, I'm on fours. There it is. Oh! Big Thro Zorp Zorp Threw it with swagger as well. All right, try and, try and strike him. Here we go. Another one of those would be perfect. Oh, that's enough. That's oh, enough. We'll Rip him oh, out. We'll do it. So following off these heroic combats before we leave this flank, Grimbold fighting one orc. Oh, big Ooh, sixes. That is a tied fight. I'll flip it up, and it's evil again. Here we go. Oops. Yo, Sorry. get him out of there. Thanks for coming. <laughs> he regretted heroic combating. <laughs> and then another couple of one-on-ones. I got two on the charge. Oh, it's Ooh. tied again. Jeez, the orcs are putting up a fight Ooh. here. Evil again. <laughs> Needing fives to take out this here rider here. Oh, uh, no luck. Time. And then one final one-on-one. -on -one. I've got two dice. I'm on twos. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> Rinse him! And down goes another orc. Thanks, you, man. So pretty even there. I lost some cap, but we have thinned out that rank, and now we're back into the center where we've got a big mix. Our next fight in here is a single rider who has charge, but he's in range of Gothmog for the re-rolls and for plus ones, Mark? And for plus ones, yeah, Ooh. so the, the age of men is over. Special rule, uh, anyone within three inches of Gothmog will get the hatred of men uh, special rule. Which he is, loves stacking which is up great. these buffs on the center of that Moranin line. Well, I've just got two attacks, luckily I have charged. Oh, I've set a high bar, Ooh, set a high bar. Four dots, here we go. Uh, and it goes to me, you've got your banner yeah. reroll there, just in the range, banner. the big, beautiful Ryan Trey's Moranin banner there. Flip it up, equal the fight. Oh, no luck. So I will knock down four strikes on the front orc and I manage to get the wound. No heroic combat there and just two heroic combating Rohans left, which are these two Rohan counter charges here. These guys are big, so I might be able to push in and help these guys who have been charged. I've got just a couple of riders in each fight. Big six for me to start off. And two, striking with four and rip him out of there. 
Last heroic combat is this plucky Rohan Royal Guard. Let's see what he can do. He's on fives. Big shield for me. Oh, not oh. enough. Come on, Royal Guard. Yes, he gets him. And so he'll be able to push through and peel off. Uh, I think we'll engage this Son of Ales target here as well. So now we are just into the normal combats and we are going to start working into this center flank. So our final spicy combats of the turn, we're going to start with our heroes here, which is Gurit, Master of the Reserves. He's ambushed a big royal guard. I'm uh, on a single dice. Uh, can you be a two, Mark? I'll give it a go. Here yeah. we go. Here we go. A few Zorpers or Sixes. Yeah, look at that. That'll take it for you. And you don't need much. you got Strength 5 with Gurit, so Fives will do it. And then it's Fives all round with those Moranans. Here we go. Gurit's first. Can't do it. And, and a big one five. five. That'll get him. Rip him out of there. And into the next fight, we've got Goroth, and he is about to rinse another Royal Guard with some friends. Single dice for me. I've made it slightly more challenging. <laughs> Can you go. beat a four? Let's have a go. Well Zorba, and Zorba, truly. Jesus, well and truly. Goroth is strength five, two-handed and burly, so he is wounding on fours against my Royal Guard. Put him away. There we go. And the big fight, it is Theoden. And I have a feeling that if I lose this fight, I am going to rue Gothmog's special ability mark. So, I'll set the tone. A big six here is going to save me, and that is not a good outcome. I've got four in there. Sixes, so that sixes. puts it out of range of all of my might points. Uh, so I'm not trapped, I can back away. So four strikes up to defense seven. You're still going to be chasing sixes with the Moranans. I've got a chance here. Here we go. Now re-rolling those wounds because you're within 12 inches of Gothmog. That's one wound, chasing sixes. Oh, oh just the one. Okay, oh, Thaden lives, Thaden lives. He'll take it and he'll be ready to charge again next turn. So Aemir is doing great work over here on this flank. We've obliterated those trolls, but the center is collapsing. It just needs to kind of hold so I can cut my way through and try and get some kills on these heroes. Let's do priority for turn number three, Marky May. I'm on a big one! That's not what I wanted! Oh. It goes to evil again. I'll be spending more might points to call heroic moves. We'll burn another one with Theoden, another one with Elfhelm, and another one with Aemir. We need this initiative. So Gothmog has Master of Battle, which means any hero within six inches that calls a heroic, he can just bloody mimic it. So Mark basically gets one for free. That's the only heroic he's going to call, so it's down to a roll-off to see if Gothmog's or one of mine goes first, and another roll-off goes to Mark. Uh, so Gothmog is going to rally his troops and surge forward and pin my cavalry down. That is going to nullify quite a few charges. Gothmog's heroic move has really threatened to utterly capitulate the Rohan center with his orcs striking forwards, negating charges and picking choice targets to overwhelm the Rohirrim as well as negating Elfhelm's charge, disabling his heroics and gaining control of the entire western flank for Mordor. In face of the bold play by the Lieutenant of Morgul, Theoden charged deeper into the center with his royal knights around him. He's going to be relying heavily on those charge bonuses to keep them intact and Aemir's force have struck even even deeper, utterly encircling the remnant of the Mordor Eastern Reserves and truly threatening to strike deep behind Mordor's lines in future turns. The last active siege tower rolled forwards and seeing that Aemir had now become the biggest threat, the Northern Orc Reserve Force scrambled forward, desperate to form a third shield wall to hold the raging marshal of the Riddermark at bay and buy the trolls enough time to push the tower to the walls of the White City. Second tower has smashed the walls and there's still some trolls running around. Probably gonna be more soon, but I gotta finish this guy off. My last chance before he gets into combat. I have a few less bowmen now that tower's arrived. Uh, oh, a few misses. Chasing sixes by fours. I see two, three sixes, four sixes. I need to turn these into fours. See if I can get at least two wounds on this bad boy. Oh no, only one. A six and three ones. 
Troll is going to be in the fight. That is going to be a problem. Combat is once again going to kick off with this flank, and we've got heroic combats everywhere because of AMS charges. So we're going to start with the man himself. He's fighting two. Oh, don't even roll. <laughs> don't even roll. All right, first one. He's down. Second one. He's down. Don't even need the full attacks. Rip him out, Mark. Aim is actually going to ride all the way around and pick off two of those. Let's do that one-on-one -on -one that's now been set up. So I've got two there. You've got a single orc. Oh, yes. Goes to me. Needing four. And he is out of there. Rip we'll just keep following on, creating a heroic combat waterfall where this one will charge into a two-on-one, -on -one, which will become a one-on-one, -on -one, which is easier for me to win. So we've got one Royal Guard finding one Orc now, Mark. Come on, Fives. Oh. Yes, here we go. And down he goes as well. So it'll be another one on one. I've only got a Rider this time. So we're same fight value. Oh, big six. You finally strike him back. No luck. So I just get pushed back. I've got two Riders picking on a single Orc here. I mean, that's just rude, frankly. Uh, I'm fours on the charge. I send a shield. Hey, look at that. There we go. Push him away. Get some back out. And then we've got a one-on-one -on -one here. I've got two on the charge. I'm on threes. That's fortune. Yep, pushing him back and hack him from the saddle. Oh. No luck. Our last non-combat fights are these two. I'll go for this one because he's a one-on-one -on -one and hopefully I can help out my buddy. So two dice for me for the Son of Ale. Yes, here we go. Bringing in the four. Oh, he doesn't get it. So the son of Earl failed to wound, and this guy just backs away trapped. And then we've got a single rider fighting two. This one is against me, Mark. You've got better odds here. I'm on fives. Still gets it. Let's put two on, uh, one strike on each. And only one of them goes down. So the heroic combat doesn't sling off. And now we're just into our normal pairings here. Uh, so we're going to start with Aima. He's got four big ones on the charge. Ooh, that's Ooh. a that's a lower roll. Ooh. Gets it on fight belly. Uh, let's go one. He's dead. Two. He's not. Final two strikes. He is out of there. Rip him out. Aima doing the business. Killing four in a single turn. We'll move to the next fight, which is just the next one-on-one. -on -one. Any of these combats are going to be Rohan charges. Oh, he's turned it. Here we go. Nah. No wounds. Next one down. Another five. There oh, second in a row. Here we go. Get the wound. Get the wound. We'll pay it. Who cares <laughs> if it's not the box? It's too good to lose. Rip the Royal Guard out of there. So a bit of carnage over here with six Orcs going down and taking two Royal Guard with them. And then over in the center flank, we've got a whole sling of combats. I've got four Rohan horsemen who will be combating. Theoden, who's heroic striking, and Gothmog, who's going to master of battle up to a combat mark. Here we go. Yes, he is. So, so we better roll the roll off. Let's roll it off. And, ooh, Gothmog's going first. So you are fighting a single rider with so many friends. Uh, I didn't get the charge either, so it's just a single dice from me. <laughs> so I'm, roll Gothmog. I'm very intimidated by him. Big one. Gothmog's got it. Oh. Uh, you are striking with strength four on defense five with a uh, plus with one to wound. Yep. So that'll be drop it down to fours, which is awesome. So here we go. All on the rider. Take him away. Gothmog and everyone in base contact, which was three extra infantry, all get to go and make further charges. Gothmog striking deep in to pick out my banner. Well, the other heroic combats will go first, but Mark having priority is going to be able to rinse that banner early, I think. Uh, we'll dive into my next heroic combat over here. I've got one charging Rohan warrior picking off a spearman who trapped one of my other knights. And he's going to shield. Oh, nice. Uh, I've got it on fight value because I'm charging near Theoden. And one dice and two dice is not enough. I've got a heroic combat with an infantry support as well, which we don't see much this game. Uh, I'm on fives. Shielding again. I've got it on fight value once more. You are knocked down, so these attacks will be doubled. Oh, we don't need it though. Rip him out of there. So both of these guys can charge. I'm going to be able to pick another model off Theoden's fight. Uh, so Theoden will just be fighting Goroth and two Orcs. And then this guy is going to charge in and pick off this model here. Uh, let's do our last two heroic combats. These are pretty big. These are pretty big. We should be able to help out here Theoden some more. Son of Earl fighting one Orc. He's got two attacks on the charge. Whoop, shielding again. It goes to me. Come on, son of a. I'm going to steal your dice there. 
Oh no! I needed that one! He doesn't go down. Got one over here. It is a royal guard taking out a spearman from Theoden's fight. Oh damn. Shielding you. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> that is lucky. So if I can kill him, I'll be able to charge in and do some more damage, pulling away more models from Theoden's fight. Yes, I do. And crucially, he is going to charge in and take out another two infantry off Theoden. So Theoden is now fighting Goroth and two orcs instead of Goroth and six or seven, which it was at the start of the turn. Let's do this. But of course we need to do our heroic strikes, Mark. Yes, we do. We've got our strikes. A single D6. I'm on three. There we All go. All right, I have got the fight value. Theoden going to eight. You're just managing a six. I've got three dice on the charge. No banner support, but I'm on the six. There it, is. it goes to Theoden. So I knock everybody over, and I've got six strikes at strength five. So what's the defense of Goroth there, Mark? He's defense six. Defense so six. Needing fives. Okay, fives with my strength of five, plus one on the charge, of course. And whoa, I've got two wounds. Two wounds. You have a single might point left just the one and one fate okay so okay. a one or a two and Goroth is off the board here he oh. is out of here oh. one <laughs> objective down for <laughs> Rohan Goroth is gone but Theoden is out of resources now what's up for the regular combat phase Mark uh, Gothmog uh, we'll go first because I want to try and get rid of your banner. Oh uh, yeah, there. good so, move. Get him, get it rid of it at the start. Yeah. I just have a single attack at minus one. Ooh, ooh. Three attacks for Gothmog. Yeah, no Gothmog cavalry bonus six. for you because you did charge Correct. another cavalry, but three attacks is well enough. You going for the bannerman himself? Always, yep. always, always, always. Here we go. So. Uh, strength five on defense. Uh, that is a royal guard, so defense six. Defense so you're looking six. for fives to wound. Here we go. Oh, Ooh, no yeah, wounds! The banner off. survives! Uh, well, we'll keep him alive for now. Shall we just move straight to Elfhelm? Yep. Alright, I've got... Uh, you got the charge here, so only two attacks. Elfhelm's big weakness. There you go. And we're going to fight you this time, so I'll get my two rolls. Oh! oh there they are. Defense six, fives to wound. Six. Big fives, here we go. Oh, There's he gets one! one. Alright, I'll, I'll throw a fate point at it. Ugh. Saved. Okay, so two wounds, no fate for Elfhelm. It's not going too well over this flank. Uh, we've got a couple of gang up fights here before the troll arrives. I've just got one rider who hasn't charged, but he's strong. Ooh. He's strong. Punch one. Punch one in the face. No, he doesn't. Uh, another one as well, and then this flank will be all finished off. I'm on ones this time. Ow, a big there six. Uh, you'll need defense six. So, no, five to wound. Five to wound. Here we go. There it is. <sighs> So my cav have pulled off a few models, but Guritz is still absolutely crushing this poor knight. Uh, I've got a single die because Guritz got the charge. I'm on a oh, one. Here we go. Guritz is roll. Yep, he does it himself. Yep. Uh, smash him. Quite trapped there, so Guritz will do Very his. trapped, yes. Priority helping Mark because I couldn't do the other fights first. So Guritz will... And take him so out well. of there. The orc hero is doing some work here on the Pelennor. been carnage the last three turns. These heroic combats are seeing a lot fought. Rohan's doing okay over here with the first and second wave of AMA's Assault doing well. And we are getting towards these trolls, but oh my goodness has the Rohan Center collapsed. Mark, I need some priority. If you could kindly let me uh, let me have that, that'd be great. <laughs> See what we get. Uh, big old dice of me. Oh, I'll just get it in the box. And it's a four swings to Rohan. Any heroic moves from you, Mr. Mark? Yes, so uh, I've got Guritz in the center here. Uh, he's going to call one, which will grab we'll grab a little uh, outside there. So in the hopes that you want to call one out here. And I can yeah, look, you, you're baiting me into it, but I've got to call one with Elfhelm <laughs> if you're going to try and claim the center. So I'm guessing you're going to... Master of Battle. Master of Battle. So we got two heroics in the center for evil, and one, of course, Thaden has used all his might in that brutal combat. So let's do the roll off. It goes to me because I am Priory Man. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, so I've got to work out what I can do with Elfhelm to save 
Theoden. So, like, ten minutes of intense off-camera planning have come down to an epic plan that's going to all get unraveled by one dice roll, I bet. So, Elfhelm's got to move first. He's going to go in here, kill this guy with a spear, wrap around behind. Then I'll use the remaining three models that are in range to tie up Gothmog, these orcs, and these orcs. So, Elfhelm was behind enemy lines safe, and the troll can't fit through because of the fire. But it all hinges on killing this orc with a throwing spear. But if anyone can do it, it's Elfhelm. Threes to hit. He hits. Fives to wound. Rerolling wounds. Come on. 33% chance. No, it's all wasted. <laughs> Damn it. Well, it was an epic plan. Uh, Elfhelm's just going to have to go in. Uh, so he'll just, he has to charge that model. He can still charge, uh, but he won't be able to fit through. And in that case, I will just use my remaining models to try and shield him and keep him alive. I can still tie up Gothmog by wrapping into him that way. I've got a few spears though, which are gonna potentially be at play. Let's spear this guy. Uh, he misses. Uh, the Bannerman could get the spear off. He misses. And does this guy kill the infantry with Gothmog? No, so no spears. Spears were just a total failure this turn. Uh, and Elfhelm has pretty much managed to just hide from Gothmog, but Gothmog's coming anyway in her The orcs surged forward, swarming the Rohan western flank, but on the east, the Aemer wrecking ball continued to swing, slamming into the third Moranin shield wall, covering the final tower. And inspired by his example, the remaining reserve behind Theoden rallied to their king and charged forward to counter that orc advance. Eager to escape the wrath of the marshal, the trolls pushed the final tower almost within range of the wall, and predicting a vicious turn of heroic combats, the unengaged models in that shield wall abandoned their comrades to form yet another line of defense, and then threw in some spears to try and stall some key fights around Aemar. The combat has kind of unfolded into a pretty interesting set of flanks. Obviously we've got Aemar flying up here ahead as a bit of a vanguard. He's following second wave, should be able to heroic slingshot into him with a bunch of charging combats. But the Rohan Center is gone, Elfhelm is here, he did get the charges, but I don't think I'm going to call any heroic combats over there, Mark. No, you don't. Oh, we'll call one with Gothmog, and I'll have to use a point of mine. I can't yeah, use that's it. I mean, look, everyone there is dead. My play with Elfhelm didn't yep. work. It was too risky, so at least I'm going to sap Gothmog of a might point. Uh, and then I do have a bunch of guys who got charged, including Theoden, but three counter charges. So heroic combat's potentially there that could save Theoden. Uh, let's have a look. I think it's mine, isn't it? I've got priority. Uh, oh, it goes to me! It goes to me! So, really that actually doesn't affect anything, because Gothmog is off by himself. So I will just do uh, this heroic combat here first, which is one charging Rohan uh, knight fighting two orcs. Uh, I'm on big fives. The Riders of Rohan with fight four. I'm going to put a strike on each of those models who used to be engaged with Theoden, and now they are dead. Rip them out of there, Mark. Fantastic work. That uh, that beautiful Grimbold from Battle Companies gets to charge again, and he'll just pick off this one model. Theoden's just fighting a single guy now. Let's try this heroic combating Royal Guard up the back. He's got two on the charge. Oh! oh there we go. It's a high bar. Watch this. I've got Gandalf and Rohan. Can they beat Zorpazorp? No, they oh. can't. You're gonna hack the man. Always. Hack the man. Ugh. Not enough. Not One more here that's heroic combating. And he's joined a friend who war didn't charge. He got charged. So just three. Oh, shield. You won't do much more. You won't do much more. Big six to me. Take him off the field. Yeah. So yeah. both of these guys will get to charge now. And we really get a chance to, to help do some stuff here, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, he will go in and he can't quite get in to help Theoden, so he will go in here. We've kind of re-established a new center in light of the madness that happens over here. Let's do Gothmog's heroic combat now, because uh, it's pretty independent of everything else. You got three attacks. Three attacks with Gothmog and a little friend giving him a hand. Here we ooh, go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. No, not there, not there. Oh. All right, Gothmog's on it. 
Uh, I, oh, actually, I've got my banner. I haven't done a banner reroll all game. Yeah! <laughs> Take that, Gothmog. I am going to aim for Gothmog's Warg. You are defense four. I did not charge, so I'm only strength three. So I'm looking for a big five. And you know what? No, Gandalf. Gandalf have just done so well. Oh, get it out of here! Ugh. Gothmog's Warg is gone. Ugh. And uh, Mark will grab his dismount in a sec. Oh, he takes a strength three hit! <laughs> he falls on his face! Oh gosh. Uh, so, does he get wounded? You need to roll five to wound him. No Ooh. wounds, no wounds. So he doesn't take a wound, uh, but uh, he's, he's disgraced and embarrassed. Alphal might actually have a chance of staying alive now. Uh, man, I wish I'd heroic combated now. Let's see if Alphal can do some damage on the charge, fighting two with supports. I've got it on the fight value, thankfully. Yeah, well. So let's go into the one on the left. Oh, big six. The one on the right. Why didn't I heroic combat? Oh, he's oh. dead as well. I should have combated. If I'd combated, I would have been able to move out of the way uh, of this uh, of this troll. But unfortunately, that's going to hurl me no matter what happens. Uh, we'll fight with the banner last. Let's see if I can beat the troll. I did charge, uh, by, even though I was countercharged. So I've got two dice. I'm on fives. Dude, oh. what are your trolls doing, Mark? Oh. What are they doing? Not, not the business, that's for sure. Yeah, big, big pushback, yep. and most importantly, not hurling into Elf now. And that is, that is really clutch. Okay, so strength four, no wounds, but I'm okay. not, I'm not upset. Far out, man. I thought this flank was gonna be like just death yeah. everywhere. Oh. We push back a troll and killed uh, Gothmog's <laughs> Wag. Let's return it to your favor, I think, Mark. We'll, we'll do my Bannerman. Okay. He's in big trouble. Yep. Two dice, fighting at minus one. I'm on threes. Threes. Yep, that goes to you. Number. Just not trapped. Doesn't matter. Four the four. banner is gone. So I did lose the banner, but Elfhelm is intact. Gothmog's wag gone. Damn. Thaden and Guritz have got some fights left to show off a bit of action. Thaden got charged, but he's now just fighting a single orc. He has set the tone on sixes, don't even roll, Mark. Uh, and I have got uh, only strength four because I didn't charge, but I'm still chasing fives. And get him out of there! Theoden is back in the fight. Uh, killed himself a Goroth and hacked off an orc who tried to counter him. Uh, but now it's Guritz's time, and he's found himself a good victim, Mark. He set the tone. Guritz will go first. Ooh. Not well. No. Uh, was that two handing? So down to twos. Down to twos. Ugh. All right, you got okay, your five. Boss. The supporters did the work. Uh, I haven't charged, so I'm only five four. Ooh, ah, the five gets it. So hack him from the saddle. Ooh, uh, zorp, zorp, crunch. Zorp. Uh, so that is our heroes from this flank. We'll smash through the rest, and then it is onto the carnage of Aema. Aimer's big move continues. We're going to start with him, of course. He is... Oh, you got a chance here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, no one draws like that, though. Uh, I'll put a strike on the left, a strike on the right, and we'll do the same thing again, because that... Oh, actually! I need threes to trackers. wound their trackers! Yep, get him out of there. And then Aim will just go straight in, plunging into the Moranon back line. Uh, we've got a big counter charge over here. So you've got three little trackers with a spear support. I've got just the one. I'm on fours. Ah, uh, big six. Oh, six here, yeah. Smash him out of the saddle. Another one of them will do it. Oh. Oh. Uh, I've got a Son of Ale charging. You're now supported, so I'm on sixes. Uh, fight value goes to me. Yep. And everything on the front, I uh, need like oh. threes there as well, I think. These little trackers are soft. One more charge coming in hot against another supported tracker. Uh, I'm on sixes again. <laughs> and I think it's fours for this guy. Ooh. Oh! There oh, we go. Yeah. We obliterated the front line of trackers and made some big charges in. We'll go over there and mop those guys. Uh, this guy got pushed back and now it's a whole bunch of heroic combats over here. One on one. These charges are pretty big, because if we can get some of these kills and fire over to support uh. AMR. <laughs> this is one, this is one of them. Rinse him. Got him. We're thickening that line to strike for next turn. Uh, we've got a, no, just a whole bunch of one ones here. Definitely got the favor with the charging cavalry. Shielding. Oh, oh nice. Oh. You're not going to support the front line. Second one over here. Shielding again. 
Ooh, uh, tied fight values. I'm out of range of Theoden. Goes to me. You're knocked down. And you're not getting up. Rinse him. So I'll just charge this guy after his heroic combat to set up another two on one, and then hopefully I can fire away a couple more. Uh, I have got two guys on the charge now to your one. I'm gonna go two handed with him. Oh, nice, bold. <laughs> uh -huh. Not quite. And he is out of there. Rip out that middle guy. This guy can move now, so he will make a run to support Aemer's front line. And then we've got one last two-on-one, and hopefully I can just replicate the same thing again and get another model up front. Stab. <laughs> Stabbing damage. Do the damage. Do you kill yourself? No. no. I'll do it for you, don't worry. There he goes. And now they can both go, and they will both make a huge beeline for the Rohan front line. So we've managed to set up a pretty big push here, but we haven't got any further past this shield wall. But there's a few combats left. Uh, Aim has made a charge, and that Son of Ale have made secondary charges. So let's jump into those. Aim has got four on the charge. Uh, let's see if he can continue his run of killing four models a turn. Uh, let's do strikes one at a time. Uh, that is another two dead. Yep. Aima is on fire this game. Truly. Uh, earning his future kingship. One more striking model here. Uh, a Son of Ale on the charge. Also that goes to me. Yeah, that is two dead orcs. And then, oh, we have one more actually. We've got a little rider over here. These orcs rushed over to try and uh, give some support after pinning up Theoden last turn. Uh, and they just saw the, the son, oh. the nephew. <laughs> God. One on each. And take them both off! How dare you leave the front line! And that is a savage output! I don't think Rohan lost a model! No. We didn't! No. And we must have taken off two handfuls of orcs. The, the Rohan are absolutely rallying here on the right flank. Let's jump straight into priority. It's a nice ending on the good flank. Oh, there we, oh, go. There we go. Okay, now I am running out of might. That is going to be very interesting. Well, we come to the absolute tipping point of the conflict, with the game very much in the balance. For the forces of good to prevail, Aemon must cut his way through the hastily erected formations and slice apart both trolls before the final tower reaches the walls, whilst keeping two out of the three of Elfhelm, Aemon and Theoden alive. Or, if either of those objectives are failed to be completed, they must kill another Mordor hero to level the tally. Seeing this crucial moment, the Orc forces surged for Forwards, taking advantage of the low resources of the Rohan heroes. Aemer's force finally had their charge stalled at the front line, but with a second rank of Rohirrim plowing into those ensuing combats, they can still hope to carry some momentum through the combat phase to set up for a final push next turn. With the tower now one turn away from the city walls, the game is truly on a knife edge. In any turn in which all towers are either disabled or successfully deployed, the game will end. For good or ill, the moment of truth has come. I could really use some Ryan Trace trebuchets today, but unfortunately I just have a handful of Gondorian bowmen. Uh, let's see, like a literal, a literal handful. Oh man, this is good! This is much better. We have got to take out these trolls just here. If I can get rid of one of them, I'm at least going to reduce the movement down to three inches of the tower. All right, we've got to get through on a five plus to get past the tower. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And chasing sixes by fours to wounds with those pesky strength two bows. A single six and no wounds. Oh. All that shooting for nothing. We have got uh, basically one heroic combat that's meaningful to start with, and that is your little beast. Gothmog. You gonna get in there? Let's do it. Let's spend the point of mark. Let's try and get in. I've got a single dice. Oh, it's strong. <laughs> it's strong. Roll them up. So, Gothmog. Yep, he's got it. Five to wound. Five uh, to plus wound. one. You'll need fours Four with that, Gothmog. that filthy special rule. He's heli, hella trapped. Let's get him out of there. Yep. Off he goes. Booz. Aethane, Battle Company's member. He is out of there and everyone gets to pile in. I'm, I'm going to guess Gothmog's going straight, straight in. into Elfhelm. Straight in. Alright, well let's move straight to Elfhelm's uh, combat and then we'll finish the rest of the flank. I've only got two attacks because I haven't charged. And I'm sitting on sixes! Whoa. But you've still got the fight value. Elfhelm's only fight four and Gothmog's natively fight five. Alright, let's start off with Gothmog's dice. Uh, okay. ooh, you got right. one my point left, one so point left. You, you could get it if you want it. And I've got a banner reroll in there as well. 
Oh, you're going to have to spend the might. Banner. Oh, Banner. Yep. Oh, Banner. Good call from All behind right. the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I really no, wanted that. Off six. Okay, all right. So that is the the win to you. I am so trapped. It'll be fours again to wound. So we'll do Gothmog's roll first. Yeah, get him, him out of there. The, get the win. Uh, that's enough. Okay. I there have two is. wounds. No fake. Elfhelm is gone. That is the first hero objective complete for the forces of Mordor. I'm yet to kill a Mordor hero, but I am making gains towards the siege tower. Let's go over to my heroic combat. Uh, I have only got the three that I managed to counter charge, which is uh, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Now I've set up a couple of good two-on-ones, so hopefully I can slingshot back towards the uh, the beautiful siege towers up there. So I've got two riders, so one's a son of ale. I'm on five, so you've got just a tracker. Oh. Yep, rinse him. And he is out of there on fours. Defense three is brutal. And these boys are just going to make a huge beeline and do a big double wrap and we'll pick off those trackers as well. We've got another setup here that's two on one. Uh, you do have a spear support this time though, Mark. Uh, I am... No! No! The damn spear! Oh, there goes that plan. Uh, are you going to strike up? Always. Always on the rider. No luck. All right, Nothing. my boys survive. One more heroic combat, although it's unlikely to go off, is just one outrider fighting two trackers. I've got two dice on the charge. Fours. Oh. Same fight value. Same All right, I'll roll it up. Goes to me. Yep. I'll put a strike on each. Strength four. I'm chasing fours. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. I think I'll pay that. Two trackers gone. Thunk. This guy, now I've got the chance to sprint up towards to join the rest or kind of pile in and help someone out. Yeah, let's not risk losing AMR. Let's make sure AMR's kills go down. So I'll pull, I'll pull one of those off. Bit of carnage through the chaff, but there's a couple of key combats left. We've got Aema, Theoden, and some of the dudes around them. I managed to get Grimbold into uh, Guritz, yep. who has peeled him away from Theoden, so that's going to play out. Yep. But we'll jump into Aema first. Uh, Aema didn't charge, but still three attacks, and you've got only three on him now, because I've, yeah, just put it away. Just put it away. Oh, <laughs> the big Zorb is off six, absolutely rinsing. I will put one strike. Oh, actually, I don't have trap. I'm not knocking people over, but it's enough. Kaboom! Just a single tracker down on the Zorbazorb 6. One little fight with the uh, Rohan Outrider riding around behind to get the Spearman. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> and we need five. Wow! These dice are staying in my hand for future turns. He is out of there too. So we've cleared up this center a little bit. Alright, I have valiantly charged in with Grimbold, a lone rider who used to be famous in a battle company, and I am on... Twos! Oh, oh we crunch me. Six. Here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, you got the two-hander, so you're at plus one as well. Yep. Uh, that'll do it. Order. That five. That five with the plus one. Let's see if Theoden can boldly keep himself in the fight after Grimbold valiantly sacrificed. I'm fighting against two orcs. Ooh, yeah, that's it. And one on each. Yes, we go. we'll take this one off closest to the dice. So Theoden is still in the fight. Uh, that was a pretty slashy combat turn. Elfhelm gone. Uh, this this next priority could be pretty big. I need to catch those trolls. Oh, not if I roll like that. Yo, <laughs> big road on six. Let's go. No might on this side of the field. Those trolls are not going anywhere this turn. We've got a big play here. I've managed to get my two little friends here into the troll. So they're not going anywhere this turn, but I need to kill them. And so I'm going to set up a little heroic move slingshot off the heroic combat. So what I'm going to do, Marky's going to charge in that Rohan Outrider to neutralize the control zone on the right orc. I'm going to use this Rohan Rider at the back to neutralize the control zone on the left orc. And then my Son of Ale and Aema are going to ride through the gap over that little bit of rock that's less than half their height and slingshot 
into the orcs in the rear, which will be in range of a heroic combat into the trolls. So that gives us a nice chance of busting their skulls open this turn. So I finally got priority mark, which means Theoden can get out of there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no. Ah. Um, so with Guritz's last point of might, I need to call a heroic move uh, to get to yeah to stop Theoden from going anywhere. No! <laughs> get back here, mate. So he's in. He's in. Uh, you're gonna pile in these boys as well. I'm gonna have to. Yep. And I think with that six inch bubble, you'll be able to tie up all my cav on that side and throw that extra support on Guritz. Yeah. Thaden could have some numbered days now. I need to keep Thaden and Aimer alive to hold that objective. And now we've got not much left on the board. It's just an orc horde trying to catch Aimer and the Rohirrim. Uh, Okay, so it's Gondor's turn to shoot, uh, and we have ourselves a better target than last time. The, the pincushion of the tower is being ignored. They're in combat anyway. It's Mr. Clubby the Troll, the victor, uh, the mortal the killing machine from the last Gondor battle rap. Uh, he's out in the open and he's already taken a wound, so we're just going to fill him with bloody pins. Cannot risk him getting to AMR and breaking up that charge. And we just need two sixes and fours to give him his two final wounds. Oh no! Three sixes! It's tight! It's tight! I need two fours! I need two fours! Oh, he's still here! One wound remaining on Clubby the Troll. Combat phase, and this is it. This is where I make the play. I have got to get this done before yep. the uh, before the towers arrive, or before Mark kills my second hero, because that's going to end the game. Yep. So I've got all my heroic combats on this flank over here. So we'll start with this rider up here, because I want to set a waterfall to basically build heroic combat momentum into these two fights, into the troll. So, one rider on one orc. I'm on fours. Yes, come on, I can feel it coming. Needing fives on the charge, big six. So he will make a ride over, no. and he'll peel one fight. I tell you what, I'll take it off. I'll take it off the Son of Ale because that's going to be the more difficult fight. Now I'll try and line that up again. Here I've got my outrider fighting an orc with shields. Oh, he's lost it. No banner effect. So that one's out to you, Mark. Doesn't get the kill though. I'll just back out of the way. Uh, and then I've got a two-on-one here. This is getting slightly tough on range now. Uh, I'm on threes and ones. Ooh, Ooh uh, I'm out of range of Thaden, so it is a draw. Um, I'll roll the dice. Yep. Goes to me. Come on, I need to put both of these down. So the white is chasing not enough. That is strength four. Uh, that will be forced to wound even on the tracker. So nothing pushing back off there. I've basically got one chance left to let Aemon not on his own. And it is this valiant rider here. Oh, oh yes, I can win that one, I can win that one. But I have to put both targets down. One strike on each. Oh yes, oh. sixes and fives. So he go. will blitz through them, ride around ignoring the height and peel off one of Aemon's fight. Now the last two heroic combats are only fighting a single model, much more doable. Aemon on the charge. Oh, as you like it. All right. <laughs> And get out of here, son. Yep, yep, he is gone. Gone. Aima is going to fly in and pin one troll. And then the son of Ale, fighting one. Goes to me on five value. Come on. Yes, we got it. The trolls are in big trouble. So Mark has just like blown my mind right now. <laughs> I completely forgot that um, these the the Rohan Outrider and one of these Sons of Ale, he was here. Uh, he they both got charges, so they are heroic combats as well. So this final Son of Ale, who's running in, is going to move in and get there. We're going to try and kill this one, and then this guy will be able to heroic combat and join here and trap that troll against that position. So Mark, we're into that combat. However. Mark still has fight seven. So if you roll a big six, it is yours, yeah, my yeah. friend. Set the tone, Marky. And oh, Ooh, five high. Six. Okay, yeah. okay. So I'm chasing six on eight dice. We'll start with AMR. Come on, bring it home, future king of Rohan. Oh, yes, okay. there he goes. So the troll is trapped. AMR is 
Uh, strength five on the charge on sevens, so that's only fives to wound. And in fact, so is the Son of Ale. So two of these sets of dice are chasing fives, and one is chasing sixes, and this guy is unharmed. Fives and sixes, we have got one, two. Oh, but he's trapped, he's taking they're double strikes. Yeah. Uh, so he's got two wounds from the first set. Get him off the board! Oh, yeah. <laughs> so troll number one is gone. That's great. It means the tower is now only moving three inches per turn. Even that keeps us in the fight. But the big thing is that this outrider gets to run around and charge this troll again. Now, the son of Ale can't fight, but he's in a trapping position. So this is harder for me, Mark, because I've only got two guys, basically. So set the tone for us. Oh, it's fires it's again! again. It's okay. Again. A Son of Ale and the Rohan Outrider needing a six on four dice. It's something I'm pretty good at. Let's see go. if I can pull it out. Yes! Oh, two of them! Two of them! Two. Uh, once again, we're looking for uh, sixes uh, on the, the Rohan Outrider dice and fives on the green yeah. dice because he is trapped. So this is all the attacks. Three sixes on eight dice is a lot harder, but the fives Not might help. Average. I think it'll work. I think this will be good. I'm optimistic. Wow. One, two, three, killed him, killed him, four wounds, that is That's both, it. rip him out, rip him out, Mark. There he goes, oh my goodness. Both <laughs> trolls in one epic, epic waterfall of heroic oh. combats, <laughs> and we have stopped the third, the, yes, the third siege That's tower it. does not reach the wall, so, the game is now down to hero kills. That's it. You've got to kill Aemar or Theoden. Correct. And I've got to kill... Guritz. Yep. Or or Gothmog in the middle here, but this is this is the key fight. This is the big fight. Let's let's go there right now. Let's, let's do it. Let's go there right now. So basically it's all gonna come down to this combat. Theoden has not charged. He's been charged yep, by correct. Mark's uh, Mark's beautiful might management in, in the face of all my free heroic combat. I have got just two attacks. I honestly, I reckon last turn I should have just dismounted so I could be Shield shielding right yeah, now. Yeah, but unfortunately enough. I'm stuck on my horse. Yep. Uh, I will set the tone for you. I'm at fight five. So if I can six up, Theoden is golden. Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear! <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, just take it away. There you go. <laughs> and four of his mates. Uh, the Zorbazorb six, just to add there insult to injury. I will uh, I'll get ready my fate rolls, shall I? Okay. Uh, I'm not trapped. I'm able to back away. Uh, luckily, I'm pretty fine there. So that is uh, just striking up. I'm defense seven, so you're going to need sixes across the board. Uh, strength five with Guritz, so five. And plus one to wound. And plus one to wound. With the two-handed weapon. Yep. Right, so we're gonna do fours, <laughs> fours and, and sixes. Fours and sixes. Here we go. Right, let's do Guritz first. Guritz first. One, oh, wound. one wound and one wound. So I have got one point of fate left. One measly point of fate. Oh, he's oh. gone. He's gone. <laughs> The king has fallen. <laughs> Who needs the witch king? <laughs> Theoden is out of there. So Guritz and uh, Gothmog are still in the field, yep. uh, but I have lost two of my heroes, Theoden and Elfhelm. So one objective for you, yep. one objective for me. So Theoden falls in the final turn of the game. As soon as the Siege Tower objective is met, that is the final turn. And uh, that was Guritz's final action to, uh, to take out Theoden and score a victory point for the Forces of Evil. So the game ends up being a draw at one apiece. Well done, Argy. Thanks, mate. Buzz. Love it. As the smoke cleared upon the battlefield, the grip of the forces of Mordor upon the White City has been broken, but at a terrible price. Although the cries of joy ring out from the walls of the White City as the defenders inside rally and push back the enemy forces within, their salutations are mixed with the grief of the horse lords as they see the cost of their magnificent charge. But the gods of war are not finished with the men of the West, as across the Pelennor a mighty horn booms as the Dark Lord comes Casts his last roll of the dice. His orcs may be broken, but they are but a tithe of his full strength. The battle for the Pelennor Fields 
has only just begun. The great battle of our time. A draw for today's game sees us set the stage for some truly epic Pelennor Fields action to come as we revisit the absolutely mega scenario on the full Pelennor gaming board in the coming weeks. A big thank you to Andy Marchin for the two stunning scratch built siege towers, Jacob from Conquest Creations, Nathan Shuttleworth, James Gaywood and Jack Norman for printing our horde of FDM siege towers. The links to the STL file for that siege tower are down in the description if you'd like to print some for your own games and of course a big thank Thank you to my amazing Patreons. These incredible folks on the screen are the reason why all of this is possible. If you want more Minas Tirith, more Siege of Gondor, more battle reports, and more Zorpazorp, please go and check out my Patreon link down below. It's a phenomenal way to support the channel. Or if you love sexy threads, check out our merch store below, including the super sexy White City range designed by the amazing Bo Preston, who's also now my editor, and his incredible artwork is linked down below. If you're still watching, I love you. Thank you so much. You guys are the best community and I really hope you enjoyed this game because Mark and I had a ripper of a time filming it. I will see you in two or three weeks Zorptrons. Locky out. Just gonna cook up a little. I just thought about all the models behind us. Can you guys shoot me that way a bit? Can you guys? <laughs> that with my boys out of shot. Get out of the way. <laughs>